morning students so he will consider that another problem a coil of resistance 50 ohms and inductance 0 0.6 henry is connected in parallel with a non inductive resistor of 20 ohms and uh, he asked ask to calculate the current in each branch the total current supplied and the power factor of the whole circuit and he has given the applied voltage as 230 volts and 50 hertz so we will draw this as a circuit so first he has given a voltage voltage as voltage as 230 volts and frequency is 50 hertz frequency is 50 hertz it is connected in parallel with resistance resistance he has given as 50 ohms resistance is 15 ohms and inductance inductance value has given as 0 0.6 henry 0 0.6 henry 0 0.6 henry and it is connected to a parallel resistor of parallel resistor of 20 ohms parallel resistor of 20 ohms so there are two currents passing through each branch i1 is current passing through this branch and i2 is current passing through another branch so i am considering there are two impedances this first one is z1 impedance and another one is z2 impedance so we have to calculate the current in each branch as well as total current as well as power factor so we will see one by one first first we have to calculate the z1 to calculate z1 we have to calculate the xl value xl value equal to 2 pi fl 2 pi fl he has given the uh, frequency as 50 hertz you know so 2 pi into 60 into l value l value he has given in the question as 0 0.6 henry so i can substitute here xl equal to 2 pi fl 2 pi into 0 0.6 so the value will be 188.4 ohms this is the xl value Next, I have to calculate the Z1. Z1 equal to 15 ohms plus this J value, JXL, no? JXL, J into 188.4. This is the Z1 value. Next, he has asked to calculate the current in each branch. Current in each branch, no? So, first current in first branch will be I1. I1 equal to v1 by z1 so here the voltage is constant now so i can consider v v value is 230 volts at an angle of 0 by z1 value is 15 plus j 188.4 188.4 so i can convert this 188.4 15 plus j 188.4 is in rectangular form now I can convert into polar form so if i convert into polar form the value will be 188.99 at an angle of 50 85.85.44 85.44 188.99 at an angle of 85.44 so i can substitute here i1 value equal to 230 at an angle of 0 by 188.99 at an angle of 85.44 at an angle of 85.44 so it is in the form of r1 pi 1 by r2 pi 2 so we can write as r1 pi 1 by r2 pi 2 i can write as r1 by r2 into pi 1 minus pi 2 so the total value will be 1.21 1.21 at an angle of minus of 85.44 so it is in the downside if it moves uh, numerator it will be minus of 85.44 so i can convert it in, again into rectangular form so the rectangular form value will be 0 0.096 minus j 1.2 minus j 1.2 this is the i1 value next 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 current is i2 i2 current is passing through z2 no so the value will be 
I2 is equal to V by Z2. So the V value is 230 at an angle of 0 and Z2. Z2 value is, he has given the Z2 value as 20 ohms now. So I can substitute here 230 by 20. So the value will be 11.5 11.5 at an angle of 0. So I can write I2 equal to 11.5 11.5 plus J 0 plus J 0. This is the current I2. I1 and I2. He also asked to calculate the total current. So to calculate the total current I can take I total is equal to I1 plus I2. I1 plus I2. I1 value is we have calculated the I1 value is 0 0.096 minus j 1.2 and i2 value is 11.5 at an angle 0 so i can substitute both the values i1 value is 0 0.096 minus j 1.2 1.2 plus 11.5 plus j 0 11.5 plus j 0 so the total current uh, the value will be 11.65 total current value will be 11.65 at an angle of minus 5.9 amperes 5.9 amperes this is the total current in the circuit so the total current we have calculated as 11.65 at an angle of minus 5.9 minus 5.9 so this is the total current next he also asked to calculate the power factor power factor of the whole circuit so power factor as you know the formula power factor is equal to power factor is equal to cos pi cos pi so cos pi value is cos of minus 5.9 cos of minus 5.9 value will be 0 0.944 0 0.994 4 lakh this is the power factor for this circuit 0 0.994 this value will be 9 <laughs> 0 0.994 minus 5.9 and this value will be 0 0.994 lakh so we have calculated the normal currents i1 and i2 i1 value will be 0 0.096 minus j1.2 I2 value will be 11.5 plus J0 and the total current is 11.65 minus 5.9 and power factor is 0 0.994 lakh as it is a, a RL circuit so it will be lagging so we have calculated all the values thank you students we will meet in next class